Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find the value of t that satisfies this equation? We are going to make use of two different methods. Here is t power t power 15 equals 15. Now, I can start by saying let x equals t power 15. That means this t power 15 here, I can replace it with x. So we have t power x equals 15. Now from here, I can apply natural log. I can have natural log of t power x equals natural log of 15. Now, if you have natural log of p power p, this equals p times natural log a. So this is x times natural log t equals natural log 15. Now, here we have x and we have t here, so we want a uniform variable. So I come over to this particular equation, which is x equals t power 15. From here, I can isolate this t. I can have x power 1 over 15 equals t power 15 raised to the power of 1 over 15. So if I multiply this exponent, I'll have x power 1 over 15 equals t power 15 times 1. 15, 15 divided by 15, that is 1. So this is t equals x power 1 over 15. I'm going to carry that and insert here. So this is x times ln of x power 1 over 15. And this equals ln 15. Now remember again, if you have ln a power p equals p times ln a, so 1 over 15 multiply this, we have x times 1 over 15 times ln x equals ln 15. x times 1, this is x, and we have divided by 15 of ln x equals ln 15. So what we can do is to multiply each part of this equation by 15. Of x over 15, times ln x, this multiplies 15, equals ln 15, and this multiplies 15. So 15 times this, this is 15x divided by 15, times ln x equals 15 ln 15. 15, the cancels are 15, so from here, of x times ln x equals 15 ln 15. So what happens here is that there's x here, there's ln x here, there's 15 and there's ln 15. So we can compare and say that x is 15. If x is 15, we can then solve for t. So let's recall. We call that, we said, t equals x power 1 over 15. t equals x power 1 over 15. That means t equals, what is our x? x is 15. We have 15 power 1 over 15. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this is just like writing the n root of a power 1 which is the sentence right in the end root of a. So from here we have t equals the 15 root of 15 to the power of 1, which is the 15 root of 15. So that is our t. Now we come over here to making use of another method of t power t power 15 equals 15. 
So what I can do would be to raise each part of the equation to the power of 15 because you have 15 here. I have 15 power t, I have t power t power 15. And this is raised to the power of 15. And this equals 15 to the power of 15. Now what happens is that I can say let this t power 15 represent a while this represent m, right? So if you have a power m raised to the power of m, this equals a power m raised to the power of m. So right now I'm going to have t power. This is m, that is 15. Raised to the power of t power 15. And this equals 15 power 15. Now, if you have a power a and this equals b power b, because this is t power 15, this is t power 15, this is 15, this is 15, you can easily say that a equals b. That simply means that t power 15 equals 15. So you can solve for t. And to solve for t, I need to eliminate this 15. So I can have t power 15 raised to the power of 1 over 15 equals 15 raised to the power of 1 over 15. So if you multiply this out, that's t power 15 times 1, this is 15, divided by 15, equals 15 to the power of 1 over 15. So this cancel this, we have t equals 15 to the power of 1 over 15. And going by the identity, you have a power 1 over n, equal the n root of a, a, that means this will be a 15 root of what 15. So this is it. This actually is the same just like what we had earlier on. This is 15 root of 15. And this mentor here is quite very short, shorter than the first one. Now, what we can do next is to check A of t equals 15 to the power of 1 over 15 or the 15 root of 15. And this problem remains the same. t power t power 15 equals 15. So we can easily replace t with 15 power 1 over 15 or 15 power 1 over 15. Raised to the power of 15 power 1 over 15. Raised to the power of 15 equals 15. So what I can do will be to apply a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times m. So we multiply 1 over 15 by 15. So this is 15 over 15 and that is 1. So this will give us 15 to the power of 1 over 15. Raised to the power of 15 times 15 times 1, that is 15, 15 divided by 15, that's off. So this equals 15. We apply the same identity again. 15 multiplies 1, that is 15, divided by 15, and it's out. This cancel this. And this is 15 to the power of 1, which is 15. And 15 to the power of 1 is 15. So this is 15 equals 15. Left hand side and right hand side are the same. So guys, this is how you can solve this exponential problem. Step by step. Without complications, guys. You can make use of any of the methods. So this was method 2. And this actually was the first method. Method 1. And method 2. Is actually shorter than method one. So any of the methods you want to use is quite very okay. So guys, that is it.
Thank you and goodbye.